Hi guys this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music in this bass guitar lesson we are going to learn the the iconic Pink Floyd classic money and we are going to learn the bass line of every bit of the song we are going to learn the the 7 by 4 bass line for the verse section or for most of the vocal areas that one and we are going to learn the bass line for the solo sections as well the guitar solo and the sax solos which are something like that stuff so before we get cracking it will be nice if you can hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for regular notifications which will give you a ring whenever we do a new live lesson a premiere or a riff or anything on our channel will you'll know when it comes out and the ideal way to supplement your learning would be on our patreon page where you can download the bass guitar tabs the notation and my handwritten notes for the entire tutorial this one and also anything we will ever do and what we have done in the past as well so let's get cracking it's on the key of b minor b natural minor you could say with a flat 3 a flat 6 and a flat 7 and we are on the key of b b is either here or here in fact there are quite a few places where you can play this riff so i'm going to walk you through first of all you can play the riff here on the second fret that could work so uh, the first riff the main head riff would be on a 7 by 4 and if we sing it it'll be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 almost every note is on the beat 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 except for beat 2 which has that extra note 1 2 3 2 2 3 3 is an octave coming down to the fifth and back to the root 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 so let's do that so uh, what did i say again at the 2 you're going to play two notes and this is a swung performance or you could look at it as triplets 1 and a 2 and a 3 I prefer to look at it as swing 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and Okay I'm using a lot of opens first then I'll teach you with a fr a more fretted version where you're playing most of the fr most of the frets so the riff will go 1 2 2 3 what's that one root of the scale b 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3, one, two, three. now a good way to play this is well you can play it with your index on the root pinky on your octave your f sharp will be your fifth played with your ring but i find that a lot of the stuff rings so a good approach could even be to play it with just a muted technique 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3, 3 and then you jump there 2 3 3 or this would also work 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 3 so coming to the notes again 1 2 3 3 so that's b octave F sharp, which is the fifth, back to the root one, two, three. Now bring your index down and play that. Pom 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 pom. It's almost like a call and response riff. Call, call, ba ba ba. Response, ba ba ba. Pom da da dum. Pom pom. And the response will be F sharp, A open, B. Then. You could do D fretted here or open D if you prefer. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. And this is the riff. The song starts like this with the cash register noises and stuff, and it goes on even with the vocals. You know, money. It goes on for pretty much the vocal part and almost the entire song. You could say about sixty percent of the song is is this, and then the next riff, which I'm going to teach you. Okay. Now, you if you feel. a bit stretched out in the lower registers of the bass well it is an easy range in terms of knowing your notes because you have a lot of open notes so you don't have to actually fret but if you find that to be too annoying you can come here and play a b as well now the only challenge here is you'll have to anyways come back to the low f sharp right so uh Bum, ba, ba, bum. You can do one da 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 just to get that uh, uh, that first part. B octave fifth B bum ba ba bum down bum. This could be more ergonomic uh, unless you want to just play it here. So the, another position could be bum ba and then end with an open D. so that you could go back to that root b okay let's do that again with b on top here b ba ba bum 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 open d b remember this is b on the bass guitar ba ba bum 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 ba bum ba de dum bum bum be dum ba du dum be bum oh you you can play it there de ho Now moving on, so we go two times of bum ba ba bum 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 ba again bum ba ba bum 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 and now de do de do ba 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 do. So that's basically following the vocal line. De do de do de do ba 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 de back. Ba ba again if you want to play it here or. If you want to play tan ta da da here, or if you want to play it here, if you play it here, there's a lot more movement and a lot more knowledge of the fretboard required. So money, bum bum bum, be do 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 do. Now the vocal part, de do de do da 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 re. Back to riff, and ba ba. Repeat it twice, money. Vocal part, ba 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 da de de do. So what's the vocal part? D B D B F sharp A B D back to riff. So D B or D B F sharp A B D. You could play D fretted here as well. D B D B F sharp A B D B. Back to the original riff. Okay, now this goes on twice. So B, bum 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 B again. Vocal part na 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 riff and bum 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 into two, and then at the end of the song or end of this particular section, which you could call as the turnaround part, we go to the higher F sharp. Da na 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 again, very much copying the vocals. Na 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 pa. That's higher F sharp, F sharp down five to the lower F sharp. Da na na pa dum. Same rhythm, pretty much. Pa two three and four. Three and four. So the three gets the ending. Da 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 pa dum. Pa da di da re pa dum. Pa da ru di ru. Let me try and break break that down for you. Da na na pa dum pa da F sharp F E B E G A B D B. So one da 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 dum. Okay, F sharp F sharp F sharp C sharp F lower F sharp A open C sharp 
F sharp, F passing note, E, B, E, E, B, E. That's a passing. E, B, E, G, A, B, D, B. Back to the riff. Bam, bam. Let me try and do one cycle of the riff with the uh, with the turn round and everything, and then we are done with the verse section. Again, you could follow the tabs, which can help you triangulate exactly where I'm playing, and I'll try and play it slow as well. Again, the alternate way, version of playing the riff, if you feel this is a bit too stretched out for your hand, you could play here, you could get your B on the E string. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh fret of the E string and you roll it. Bam, ba, 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 come down. And open D and then allows you to slide. Bam, play these notes in different positions as well so if you we've looked at a variety so you get the idea i hope now let's do the guitar solo and the saxophone solo the first thing to notice is it's on a four by four time signature the guitar and the sax part so how it works is going to be one two three four and one two three four and the embellishment the swing extra one would be at the end of the four so something like bum 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 Pum 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 pum. Now I'm playing it on one string. B D C sharp C B flat B D C sharp C B flat B. Or I could even do open D. Ba ba. You have that pick up, which is B flat B. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, one. This is ninety percent of that section. What I like to do is play it in a more muted way. So you can even play it higher here, I guess. Or mute it with your three strings here. And you could fret it with just the index fingers. I like this sound. Or you could play it any way you wish. Use your other fingers, or use the open D. Okay, and then this goes on for four rounds. Again, same thing. And then it goes to the E minor, which is the the four minor. Da, 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 da. The way I'm playing it is E D sharp, open D C sharp. So ba 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 da de, da repeat da 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 four times four bars. Back to B four times. So that E round chromatic on E. E D sharp D C sharp 
and till then it was just bum 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 again very chromatically on b and the turn around for the solo section which is the last part of the song would be let me play it and then teach so that's f sharp higher f sharp octave f e d f sharp f sharp ba 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 see the notation if you wish pa ri ru re pa 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 ba 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 pom pa ra ri ri ru pa mo try to use these fingers perhaps index pinky ring uh middle on the e open on the d so pom pa ri re re pa pa ri ri and then the end the epic uh, ending b a g f sharp e d c sharp c b flat b ba 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 that's b a g f sharp e d c sharp c b flat b back to the main groove of the solo okay so the solo section is divided into could say three departments which is pum 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 again same thing and then ba 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 chromatic from e back to the b now turn around f sharp f sharp ba 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 re 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 lick last phrase that's b a open g f sharp e open d c sharp c b flat b whole thing na da di do di 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 ba bum So we took ourselves through the main head riff where all the vocals happens then we have sections where we copy the vocal line Okay and then the turn round for the vocal part which was then we did the solo part b then e chromatic back to b then the turn round for the solo section and the very end right guys so hope you found the bass guitar lesson useful if you did do consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the bell icon for regular notifications a lot more lessons will be coming your way notations available on patreon as well thanks a ton for watching cheers catch you in the next one